I didn't post last week, even though I'm trying to get back on YouTube and posting weekly, but it was also a holiday, so I like to think that YouTube recognizes national holidays, but I really have been struggling a little bit with posting, not with posting, with figuring out my YouTube voice. I think it's something that's kind of exciting because it is like a new challenge and challenges are always exciting, but I just feel a little bit silly sometimes because I don't know if the dogs are ruining the audio. It is what it is. I just, we gotta roll through it, you know, we're losing light. Um, I feel sometimes a little self-conscious about wanting to be a YouTuber, even though I feel a very strong sense of self in my non-internet life, like I really feel a sense of ease and peace of mind and I have a real, my philosophy on life is often embracing how short life is and how precious life is, therefore we need to celebrate and embrace the things that bring us joy and the people who bring us joy. And YouTube brings me joy. Um, and I'm not cherishing that side of me. Sometimes I'm just like, I'll cringe or I get embarrassed, but I'm trying to unpack this and I'm trying to squash the cringe and squash the part of me that gets embarrassed about wanting to do YouTube. So here we are. But then when it comes to making things that I'm posting as myself, it's really frightening. And I mean, this is the same thing in any art practice. Like it's the same thing with filmmaking or even, um, even with like sound designing, though I feel it less because I feel much more confident in my line of work where there is, it's not even imposter syndrome. It's just so precious because you're like well i'm putting this thing out that's like me but i don't want to be perceived wrong or i don't want to be misunderstood that is never going to go away and it's just so funny because i know that when it comes to the things i do professionally but when now in this thing that i'm doing for fun youtube i am getting nervous and like self-conscious about what to post and like who I am so then I'll watch these like YouTube tip videos and I know this is like bad it's like I watch these YouTube tip videos that are not targeted for me like I'm not gonna be posting um, like school vlogs or like even college vlogs because I'm not in school or college um, but then I'll see these YouTube tip videos that are like feed the algorithm like you want to make sure you do haul videos Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what? I shouldn't have watched those. Those were just bad because I was letting myself get psyched out by people who are just in a very different life place than I'm at. So I have now realized that I don't need to make YouTube videos for people who are not, that I don't need to make YouTube videos for like a life that I do not have. Like this is my life. Um, and these are like the thoughts I have. So I just need to like be myself which is obviously the cheesiest thing to say, but it's the truth and it's the truth in all capacities. I really feel that way. So I'm back to being myself. Here we are, um, just gabbing, talking it out. But yeah, I mean, there's just like, there's so much I wanna do and I have so many ideas and sometimes that really is daunting. And time. this is something I'm working on actively where sometimes the amount of ideas will be like so daunting that I don't end up doing any of them or because I'm just like I want to put out work but I also have so many like facets that I want to explore that I don't want to be um, pigeonholed as like a certain genre so I think it's like there's parallels in both my art practice and creative practice and my YouTube practice I mean they definitely intersect because I'm the intersection of those but it's where it's like Oh, I want to post videos about like training for running. Like, oh, I want to make videos that are maybe about film or like film essays, but I don't want to be a film essay channel or I'll be thinking like, oh, I have just these like funny observations I've made, but I don't want to be just a funny observation channel or I'll even just be like, maybe I'll just be an art channel because I like doing art and it's just like very reductive and I know that 
again, this is from the YouTube tip videos that I am no longer going to follow. Like they're always about like finding your niche, finding your niche. And I'm just like, I don't want to find my niche because YouTube is supposed to just be fun for me. Or at least that's why I'm, I'm on YouTube. I think if you're trying to be on YouTube to blow up really fast or garner a lot of um, views and clicks so you can make money, fully support what you got to do to get those clicks. But I think that is what has soured my YouTube channel, even though I only have eight videos. But I, I've been thinking a lot about it because I think that, the, I mean, the thing that spoils everything is capitalism or just this thing of like, well, I need to do X, Y, Z so I can make money, clicks, views, whatever. And it would be nice. Like, it's like, Again, it's like embarrassing sometimes to be like, well, it would be cool if I could do YouTube and find a community of people who my YouTube videos resonate with. Like, that would be really cool. I would love that to happen. And that sometimes I'm like, oh, well, I feel like cringy even admitting that, but I'm just like, oh, whatever. None of this really wrapped up into an idea. But here I am. I'm really trying to combat and squash just these feelings of external validation and other people's expectations and making things that are going to get like a lot of whatever, whatever external validation manifests as. Um, and instead I'm just trying to use YouTube as like the thing that I wanted to use YouTube for, which is a very fun and like low stakes thing for me to kind of just be I'm not sure the words I'm looking for, but just to have something that's low pressure and not driven by any kind of need for gain, whether it's capital or fame or just validation. But then, this is the thing. This is like, I'm only human in the back of my head. I'm like, but wouldn't it be nice if there was a little bit of validation sprinkled in? Because I think that's it's like, I don't exist in a vacuum and it's nice to feel seen and understood and feel heard. And I do for the most part in my real world life. Um, but I also, I don't know. I'm just, I'm figuring out my relationship with YouTube. I really want to keep doing it. And I really want to keep um, doing it in like a weekly way. But yeah, I just got nervous because I, think people can hear me doing this. Embarrassing. Hi, I moved locations because even though I was talking about not being self-conscious, I got self-conscious because I think our neighbors could hear us. I don't have to be self-conscious, that's Dan. Oh, he knows that you too. <laughs> yeah, I really just want this to be a blah channel. So that's the niche is that it's a blah channel. And then maybe if I find it like a deeper like there are definitely series and sub-series I want to do, like there are, I am training for a marathon again, so I want to do something about like running, where it's like let people into these things in my life that have like an organic framework of like share something to share that I think is interesting, or like how to train for a marathon, or like I really want to do um, all of these walks in Los Angeles, where I do like a walk in Los Angeles every weekend, because I am carless in Los Angeles, and that's something that I feel like I could talk about because I'm really, you can cross, because I'm really passionate about being a pedestrian and pedestrian culture and I truly love Los Angeles. I'm like, oh, I can make videos about Los Angeles. There's just like so much in this world to do and I think I've been psyching myself out a little bit to feel like I have to contain that when in fact this YouTube is truly for myself and sharing with people who the things that I share might resonate with, that's like the exciting part. And yet, I'm already psyched out. So it's really funny because I'll find myself starting like video ideas and then I just get demoralized because I'm like, ah, oh, like people don't want to see this or like people will think this is dumb or like annoying. Um, but I'm trying to squash that mentality because I think it's. I think that is just rooted in a lack of confidence of Jackie the YouTuber and I am confident, alright, this is me. <laughs>
convincing myself. Like I'm confident and I want to, it's nice to have YouTube as like a space to kind of exercise a lot of muscles, including these muscles of like fear of outputting stuff um, in a really low stakes way and in a really fun way. Like it's really nice and exciting when people comment like that they like an outfit or that they like um, a song or like an editing choice. It's really exciting and it feels fun. And I love, I love making videos. It's like why I got into what I do professionally. I think, I mean, YouTube is a huge reason why I got into film. A lot of it is I'm kind of starting to YouTube at a point in my life where I do have a lot of things that are consistent and stable and it's really nice to have those things. But then I'm also like still hungry and looking for more and kind of always kind of seeking seedlings I can plant for new chapters and this feels like a seedling and I really want to kind of tend to this YouTube part of me and give it a try. So all of this is to say that oh, this is the ticking time up. I gotta wrap this video up. All I can say is I really just want to have fun on YouTube and get less self-conscious about my YouTube videos and just have fun and hopefully find people with whom those fun videos resonate with. Um, okay, it's time for dinner. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much also to everyone who's been on this channel since video one. It really means a lot and I'm excited to make more videos and just actually do the ideas that I have and make the time to make them. So. Yeah, see you next weekend. Thank you so much. Hope you guys are having a great July so far. I'm getting super eaten alive by bugs, but I'm excited. Dan's making meatball subs. Bye, see you next time. Thank you.